Aloha again and welcome to A Course in Miracles workbook lesson number seven. And like we normally do, we're going to look back at the first few lessons. I hope you're having a great day. I know and uh, some pretty wild things are going on right now in Washington. And th so these lessons are kind of perfect to, if any of this is bothering you or upsetting you, uh, you use the lessons, you know, to help you, um, you know, to apply the lessons to these things too. But also remember, they're all the same. Anything that's upsetting you or taking, stealing your peace, no matter how big it is or how small it is, it's all the same. That's one of the things that you learn in the co course is that we normally, the, the, the ego the, perceives things, and we think of the ego as what we think of ourselves in degrees. But really and truly, it's kind of an all or nothing thing in, the, in what the Course calls the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven. It's not really a in other words, it's all love. It's all peace. And just one di disturbing thought can shatter your peace. So it, it could be something that you think of as tremendously dramatic, you know, like losing a loved one. Or it could just be uh, someone broke in front of you in line or... Or you forgot to shut the lights off or turn the, the heat down or something that you would normally think of as very significant and not very costly. But if it steals your peace, it's worth looking at that thing and applying the principles of Course in Miracles to it. Because this is a course and how to have peace of mind. So let's look back at lesson one. Nothing I see in this room means anything. Or nothing I see with my eyes means anything. Lesson two, I've given everything I see in this room all the meaning it has for me. Lesson three, I don't understand anything I see. Lesson four, these thoughts in my head do not mean anything. They are like the things that I see in this room. And yet later you're going to learn some ideas like, for example, that we often think of what's outside of us and what's inside of us. But the truth is, according to the Course, that there's really nothing outside of you. It's all it's all inside of your mind. And so, there's no difference in what you see outside than what you see within. It's like the Hermetic Principle. So as without, so within, so within, so without. You're like seeing outside what is inside kind of idea. But anyway, so these thoughts do not mean anything. They're like the things I see in this room. And I'm never upset for the reason I think. I'm never upset, never, for the reason I think. That is such a powerful one. Anyway, I'm upset because I see something that is not there. And today we're going to learn what that something is. Lesson 7. I see only the past. Only the past. This idea is particularly difficult to believe at first. What do you mean? I see only the past. 
This is going on right now. This is not the past. Yet, this idea that I see only the past is the rationale for all the preceding ones we've just been doing in the last six days. The I see only the past is the reason why nothing you see means anything. It's the reason why you have given everything you see all the meaning that it has for you. I see only the past is the reason why you do not understand anything you see. I see only the past is the reason why your thoughts do not mean anything and why they are like the things you see. It is the reason why you are never upset for the reason you think. It is the reason why you are upset because you see something that is not there. You see the past, and the past is not there. It's gone. We're living in the present. Old ideas about time are very difficult to change. So, you know, if you, if you feel like this is pretty strange, that's, that's pretty normal because we are conditioned in, a, in, t in time space. All of our senses operate in time space. And we are taught and develop ideas about time space that allow us to function and get to work on time and, and to do the things we need to do and want to do. But really it's just something we've kind of created in our mind for convenience. And but these, these seeming laws of time and space are very hard to change. But that's what, that's what A Course in Miracles is all about. And that's what these workbook lessons are about is it's it's going to challenge and change if you do the lessons the way they're intended to be done and you put the emphasis on practicing them with the regularity that it recommends and with the sincerity that it recommends even if you don't believe it but just practice it like it says you will begin these ideas that you've held all your life or I've held all my life will change. And it's, it's amazing. It's really amazing. But anyway, everything that you believe is rooted in time. Everything I believe is rooted in time. And it depends on your not learning these new ideas about it. So when you learn these new ideas, the things that depend on your ideas that are rooted in time are going to be upset and they're going to like not be there anymore. But that's going to be a good thing because you're going to stop seeing only the past. You're going to start seeing what's here and now. But it says, yet, yeah, this is precisely why you need these new ideas about time. This is this first first time idea is not really so strange as it may sound at first. So it's going to give us an example of what it's talking about. Like look at a cup, for example. Do you see a cup? Yeah. Or do you merely review your past experience of picking up a cup, of being thirsty, or of drinking from a cup, feeling the rim of a cup against your lips, having breakfast, and so on? And are not your aesthetic reactions to the cup too based on past experience? 
how else would you know what would happen to the cup? How else would you know whether or not this kind of cup would break if you drop it? What do you know about this cup except what you learned in the past? You would have no idea what this cup is except for your learning, your past learning. Do you then really see it? And I was remember when I was, I saw it, this is what it's talking about, fresh this morning when I was looking around the room and I noticed that everything reminded me of something in the past. Like when I would look at the clock on the wall, suddenly I was back in grammar school watching the clock, trying to get the hand to move telepathy so that the bell would ring so that I could get out of class <laughs> or I would look at you know the the sliding board and I would remember sliding down a, on a sliding board with with uh, other kids in the neighborhood at the pool that I went to and I remember when I first came to Maui it was so refreshing because I, I grew up in Raleigh, North Carolina, and that's where I was living at the time, and everything in Raleigh had a story to it for me, because I had spent most of my life living there. So there were no real fresh memories, because everything I would see would remind me of something from my past. But when I came to Maui, everything was fresh and new. There was no data cached in my memory that had to do with any of these places so it was really easy to live in the moment you know now I've been here three years and and I do have a lot of stories about all the different places that have been built up but anyway that's kind of what it's uh, getting us to think about about time is that how when we see an image we've usually had some experience with an, that type of image abstract image you know a cup or a specific image a type of cup and it'll br real, the first thing if you notice it it will bring back to your mind some memory um, or even a person or a face you know if you see someone that reminds you of a person that you like you might have a, an instant liking for that person. Or if you see someone's behavior that reminds you of a person that you don't like their behavior, you might immediately uh, want to put up a wall or distance yourself or not become friends with this person. And that's, what, that's the kind of thing we're talking about, about seeing the past. So... It says, when you see something like that, do you really see it? If I see a person that has hurt me in the past, and maybe that person has changed now, they're not the same at all, but when I see them, I remember that person that hurt me in the past, and I might still be angry at them. So am I really seeing that person now or am I seeing them in the past? That's what it's kind of asking us. So we're going to do this exercise to kind of help us get this idea, this time idea across to our mind. So look about you. And this is equally true of whatever you look at. Acknowledge this by applying the idea for today indiscriminately to whatever catches your eye. For example, I see only the past in this pencil. Or I see only the past in this shoe. I see only the past in this hand. I see only the past in this body. I see only the past in that face. And don't linger over any one thing in particular, but remember to omit nothing specifically. Glance briefly at each subject and then move on to the next. In three or four practice periods, each to last a minute or so, 
will be enough. So it's not really difficult. This course is not difficult. Just three or four times, three or four minutes of your time today, do this exercise. You might want to, um, if you're busy and you're at work or something, you might want to set your watch. That's what I used to do to kind of ping me and remind me, oh, you know, do your exercise. Because otherwise, I would go sometimes, you know, go the whole day and get in the day and go, oh, man, I was supposed to do that exercise two or three or four times. And I only did it this morning. So um, any way you can help yourself remember that. But don't feel guilty and down on yourself if that happens. But just uh, because... It, there's a, I'll tell you, there's a part of you, a big part of your mind, that does not want you to succeed in this course. It, it, it doesn't want to give up the way that it sees itself in the world. And it's going to be resistful. And so there is a little bit of ways that you might and I might uh, have to think about that we can not let our efforts in the course be sabotaged. And for me, it was just uh, setting a little timer so that I would actually remember to do it uh, when it said to. So good luck, and I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you everywhere. Aloha.